<laughs> Alright guys, here we talk about Insatiable Season 1, Episode 4. This may be my favorite episode so far. Interesting. Uh, I just thought it had a lot going for it. No, th- like, this was pretty dense with stuff. Aside so from agree. a few flashbacks, which I was okay. like... Please get different actors. I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> like the uh, the jokey. I'm playing myself at 16 thing. Okay. Just because you have to either play it up as uh, like this is clearly a joke. Yeah. Or not. And like while they were jokey, I thought the one was clearly where um, he's like like in his gra- his his graduation gown and she's there doing something or whatever topiary work or something yeah. like that. I thought that was funny enough that that was okay. Were there more that I can't remember? No, that was about it. Okay. But I was just like, you look exactly the it's, same. It's just, like it's just him. It's just like they didn't like do the anything. Same facial to him, hair, so, yeah. the same everything, and she just has her head up in something or whatever. Yeah. 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 Like, that that made it funny to me. I don't know. I I, under, I, I understand just, your concerns. <laughs> They've I, been logged. And yes. I, I don't have a. Hu- it wasn't a huge issue for me, but in an episode that I thought otherwise was really good, that was my low point. Where I was like, "What are you even doing here? Why? Yeah. Why that?" It definitely doesn't have the same kind of punch as the rest of the no. rest of the stuff. We confirm that they're both named Bob. Yes. Remember, like three episodes ago, I'm like, yeah, "Wait a are minute, they both named Wait, Bob? What the fuck are they both named Bob? It's been so confusing, yeah. and I haven't known this whole time. But now we get an actual thing where it's like hot yeah, Bob, hot Bob, other, other Bob. Bob. <laughs> what would you prefer, F- fat Bob, old Bob? And he's like, "I am older by four days. Honestly, ah, no, that's dumb. older. The whole so like the yeah, yeah, they're four days apart too. Is like you're like, huh." It's well, a big difference there. One of them takes care of himself. He works out twice a day. He one does. of them's only worked out once in his entire life. I do love how he said that too. Like, isn't one of those like those throw down moments? Yes. He's like, listen, I will work out twice a day. If anyone's doing the lifts, it's me. It's me. Yeah. And he never got to do that lift. I did want to see that lift because <laughs> I wanted to see. They a, never could have done that. Well, no. I wanted to see a how they were going to do it. <laughs> yes. Because uh, it was going to be like a wire team thing or whatever. But like, then maybe he could do it. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe it could do a little faux one where it just jumps like a foot. Or the camera angle could hide it or yeah, something, something like that. I wasn't sure where that was going to go, but the whole, I really, really liked, so again, like the show is funny or whatever. Yeah, but, it's a comedy. But the, yes, but the, whole, but the whole thing with like, um, you know, I forget what he even suggests, but he says like, we should do this. And he goes, too gay. We're going to do dirty dancing. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, and you'll be the chick. Like that shit, like that is so funny. Dude, to yeah, me. and then does does like the like the does party the gayest boy thing dance. ever. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, that's the whole thing. He's like, nope, too gay. Let's do something super gay, and then does something ultra gay <laughs> once they get to the thing, right? Yeah, things like that. And and, and I'm not going to call them subtle, but just something about the whole, you know, uh, how uh, a mankini he called it. <laughs> the mankini. I can't trust him. And then like to bring it all home, like like that's what like sticks the landing for me. That dirty dancer when he does like the whole like monologue like like to have everything come together like that that's that's a beautiful thing in in like an arc or whatever so what i wanted it to be and like it kind of was but they didn't actually say it so i can't say it's just more than inferring okay is uh the moment he he chickens out on the the jump (laughs) i wanted bob to make a uh i wanted hot bob Bob. like i had that in the can in case you bitched out i knew you would good thing i had that ready you would ruin the whole show like i wanted something like that but he just it was as if that was his plan the whole time even if he would have succeeded with the jump and that i was like ah come on man yeah so part of me can't tell make your nudity your your, (laughs) saving grace not not your plan Part of me can't tell with this show, because, like, next episode, they could say, Bob, you know, Bob, I'll never forgive you. And and he's like, listen, th- you know, this is eighth grade all over again, all right? I, I know you, man. I know that you weren't going to... And then, and then he has all these... Because it... It it's making these very simple things complex uh-huh. that that makes it funnier to me when it's not just like good guy bad guy jealous angry whore done right yeah, yeah. everyone has everything and everyone's horrible and everyone's like whatever right but how it's this, cr- were yeah. you were you cringing when he was doing that dance you're like oh, oh yeah. my god why are you doing this this no. is an event your daughter was gonna be at no no like, no why my, are you doing my this? soul leaves my body for things like this oh. in in a lot of things and certain fight scenes even in things mm. where I'm just like oh that was good. Like, I have no memory of that scene because I just like couldn't t- handle it. I-, I couldn't watch that or something like that. Yeah, no, I was just like, I can't even believe a person is doing this. I'm like, you are, you are like the DA of this town. Yes. You are respected. Not anymore. 
I don't know. Some people were into it. I don't know. Yeah, Everyone's it, it clapping. Is at a, it is at, at like a beauty pageant where I'm like, I don't know what the audience in my head to a beauty pageant is a bunch of middle-aged women and like <laughs> dudes that might be into that. Yeah, maybe um, maybe they love uh, him anyway or, or they love the idea of that yeah. or something. And there's the something that, that where it's like, oh, you're a powerful man in this town with a position. Whatever you do, we're going to cheer and, and you're smile. having some fun with it and stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but like, there's a lot of nuances there, too, when he just hands him his mic and he has to find a place to put the mics yeah. before he can do the choreography. And then the way it ends where Bob just has to try to like get things under control or something like that. I didn't hate the choreography stuff. stuff when they yeah, were dancing. Yeah, yeah, no, I was like, was, oh, no, this feels like you know, a, doing a, a thing. caliber thing. And their singing wasn't great, but it was passable for what a beauty pageant it was, singing would it was, be. That's it was the a, right, the a, right a level. MC level of singing. Yes. No, that, that Isn't was Isn't she lovely? Does the whole, like, whatever. I uh, yeah. I definitely, uh, I cringed at two other moments, but for Good. intended purposes. Okay. So, like, like, when the mother, when her real mother's, like, going off on her and, like, ruining life, I was like, oh, man, this is, oh, how horrible is this bitch? Which point? <laughs> um... Let's talk about the mom. The mom, okay, her, her real mom, mom yeah. Her, her bio mom comes back, you know, into town. Um unannounced and is acting like everything is great and then she has to be yes. like everything is not great i am your mother could have fooled me oh but honestly door slam. you don't even it's realize great. how bad it was until, until she really lays it out. Laid out you're like you're like you're right she did leave you 20 dollars for multiple <laughs> days of life yeah. and presumably there's food in the kitchen and this and that and you are like you know 18 you you, you can survive yeah um, but it's shitty it oh it's certainly shitty and to come and and you know, you would have to come back like, "Oh my God, honey, I'm so sorry," but you know, I'm I'm struggling here and all that stuff. But she comes back like, "I feel so centered. I'm zenned out. This is great. How y'all doing?" And she's like, "Mom, what the fuck, <laughs> right?" And like, as and then it says, "I can yeah. see your nipples." Oh, I must have left my bra in the park. <laughs> were you even just boozing it up for a fucking four days? Like, I know. Where were you? Right, because she knows her and she has this history uh, of this whole thing, right? Um, no, like as a person too, you've been with Patty these you know these episodes, mm -hmm. two episodes whatever it was. So like for us now, we just see uh, her finally vent all this stuff out that she was not even saying in her narration or to Bob really like like little bits, but not yeah. this whole you know she's she's built this very strong case uh, you know uh, against her mom. Slams the door, walks it's open out. It's shut. Great. Yeah. yeah. And then we get the bonding with uh, Bob's wife, Coralie. So that's my second cringe moment. Okay. Is when like there's like like she says, "Did you mean all that stuff you said?" Oh yeah, you've been more of a Every mom word. than my real mom. And then immediately like like turns her back and fucks her over. Yes, and I'm like, yes. I'm like, wow. All right, you did not come across as as the most worthless bitch in the room until that moment. Like, so there's a point um, at some point where like it's like, wait, she still wants to break up Bob's marriage? What the fuck? And then she spins it and like swerves and and goes like, but you know what? Now I've I've like grown to you know feel close to them both and I don't want to do that anymore right and part of you is like oh okay I guess everything I think you had this moment like one or two episodes ago where you were like okay so she's going to learn from this oh no 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 she didn't learn from this at all yeah. and the same thing happens now with other characters where you're like oh okay now they like see the thing she's like oh honey you know we can't hang out anymore right oh my god no that was just for this thing and you're like yeah. what what no I was literally like what I was like fuck yes I, I love the blonde girl getting her come up and for being a rapist. <laughs> so you totally call that where it's the actual, I guess they just sent the house the picture of the ticket, right? That's how it works. Yeah, so that's why he uh, As a he man who's it. gotten a speeding ticket before <laughs> for going through a red light. Right, it, and the it ticket is, has it is just a thing. picture of your car, yeah. So that's why they're in Brick's car, and that's why mm -hmm. she's putting her, her, her shit back on or whatever, yep. right? It all comes together perfectly. Yeah, right? Who'd you rape, Mom? <laughs> the whole yeah. Time. Yeah, there's there's a, there's like a ton of lines here. When I, what is the there's a line that the dense. daughter says where it's like like I'm not Asian, I'm, I'm a, adopted. I'm adopted. <laughs> no, the whole thing there. This is so cliche. Where the we're the only two Asian kids at school. Because part of me's been thinking that whole time. This is so cliche. They're the only two Asian characters. But he even says like here or whatever, right? And she goes yeah. <laughs> and she goes I am not Asian <laughs> or whatever. Even, and like. That alone has its own little funniness, right? But in the same episode, you get the whole thing. Found her in a ditch. Beat that bitch. Yeah, I was just thing. thinking that <laughs> and, one. That and might it, be her best line. It's, it's so good. All like put together. You know what I mean? Like that's that's uh, that, that that's the good stuff. And the mom, like the blonde mom, oh. such a whore. I love her so like, much. Like they're wearing matching uniforms, but she has her as like the, yes. the stomach is cut out. And then like her other, like her workout uniform has like a weird little square of cleavage <laughs> cut out. Yes, I know. Like and when under she, cleavage, and like a weird and, location. And when she's too. all going up to Brick, and he's just like, please stop. Oh my God. And it has a moment of like, 
Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. The yeah. whole thing, like the whole the whole sequence is great. He's in and bed with stuff. his girlfriend, yeah. like, oh, blah, blah, rape some guy. And he's like, uh, who would fuck her? You. Uh, <laughs> and all that stuff. Uh, so like, and you know he didn't come clean right there. No. The only time that would have been appropriate. Yeah, it's pretty good. And they've just uh, they've just gotten down as well. Um, to you know, to go into that whole thing, that, you know, they like confront him. Hey, this is ridiculous. How could you and all that stuff? Older women are hot. I I I I have a bunch of friends that have a thing for you. And she's like, what? That's ridiculous. Which ones? I or think whatever. he said I have seven friends, like oh, a, a specific number, an actual number. I think it was a real number. I thought it was I could like, be wrong. I, I could thought be it wrong. was several. But I, I but I I remember yes. laughing, thinking like he said like a number. Like which he ones? Has, has it ranked down? Yeah. And then like so like so like which ones is like entry level humor, right? The uh -huh. little glance that Bob exchanged. Changes yeah. with her, and and that she shoots back as like, a like potential some. convicted pedophile. <laughs> yes, these whole things are. I'm like, okay, good, very good, and like it all, uh, you know, helps to pay off later when um, she's like, I do remember sitting on your face, and then Bob's like, oh, no, 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 honey, no, no, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Like they have this little. That's a part of their relationship. These little interactions where they're doing things. Yeah. No, they they have a good rapport, and yeah. and again, <laughs> Milano is is okay in in, in like yeah. half of her things. Yeah. And I would say she's strong in half of them, like like really sells it. But then in a couple of them, I'm like, I'm like, what's happening here? Like she, uh, you know, this episode I thought was was uh, like a, you know like a little better for her than uh, you know in general because I I've been kind of like she's not really selling the accent for me. I don't really like her character that much. Mm -hmm. She has those little moments here and there. But here there was so much happening, right? They go yeah. So it was, a, it was a meaty, meaty episode. So we have fake mom, real mom stuff. She works at the Wiener Taco. Did you start thinking about what a, what a Wiener Taco you know would, would be like? I feel like you it's like kind of what I pictured. I feel like you like hot dogs. And, I do like and, hot dogs. And, and you like tacos. I do like tacos. Some of your favorite things. I'd be totally down for a Wiener Taco. Have you ever had a Wiener Taco? I have not. It's just not to say I wouldn't though. You, you, if you have some, I I'll think take we should. Some. Yeah, I think we should explore this. Uh, I, I, but then there was a lot of love. Like, like, do you want them hard or soft? I'll take, I'll take four hard ones or whatever she says. I'm like, yeah. all right, you can't get enough of these uh, puns and innuendos. Little or whatever. puns, yes. Well, they so like they have to attempt a lot of those. I, I, I feel like, like, sure, like right when the episode opens up. It's got the narration from Patty, and 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 like he's like on your back, and she <laughs> and like yeah, like yeah. they film that like it's a sex scene, like like her head, like the lighting, and like uh -huh. her hair's all in like the thing or whatever, right? But then she's talking about with all the other stuff with like you know Ana's face, and they point to her, and all like the dumb stuffs happening like yeah. around it, like it's really well done. It comes together. As a thing. What was the other one? There's another cut too with a little oh, no, no. writing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because you were talking about the puns, and she's like, "I'm real tight" or something like that, and like, and it then like, loose to me. and then Bob's yeah. wife, Mugh. and she gives her that look like, mm, like you bitch or whatever, right? We start off like, like that's our baseline for these two, so yeah. that when you see the whole relationship, you're more of a mother to me than my own, you know, horrible mother. And then In the, a day, and, and, and honestly, and then, yes. And then the crash. Oh, you think that you she's really gonna fall into the surrogate relationship yes. where she's gonna have this this father and this mother figure that actually cares about her and do things have her best interest at heart and then just like no it's fucked and i'm gonna fuck them for fucking me and so, i don't even honestly blame a lot of episodes i'm like why are you just like yeah. like tanking this person why are you doing this thing but I'm, like, I'm like no she did some really cold shit she knows yeah. about you and she didn't care at no, all 100 percent. so like this wasn't uh, patty falling off the thing this was Coralie falling off the yeah, thing yeah who's older and wiser then, should and know then patty, better you know doing and has been stuff. through this situation so you has, would think that she would be empathetic <laughs> to it has the history understands yeah. but she's got her little taste of whatever she wanted, right? It's so ugly, it's so human. I'm a big fan. What I thought was going to happen, right? There's a scene earlier where Patty has the necklace and she puts it in her like caboodle. You thought she'd find it. I thought everything was going to be great, but 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 Coralie's going to find it and be like, "What is this?" And then everything's going to go to shit. And Bob's going to be like, "How could you?" After all, and she's like, "I didn't. I just had it." Uh, and this, and then everything was yeah. going to it was going to tank everything, right? I I think that would have been too obvious. Yeah. I I uh, I didn't think that. I, I thought that they were planting that seed when they dropped it and you saw her in the same room yeah, with it. Yeah, that's where I thought they were going. But yeah. yeah. I, I do wonder why she carries it with her all the time. I thought that's just goofy just to Just in case. With. Yeah. And she looks at it sometimes and thinks about getting her hands on Bobby, Bobby Armstrong beefcake, patty cake, whatever. She loves him. <laughs> she, she loves that lovable doofus. Yeah. yeah. It's a little weird, but... Mm. Yeah. Um, so what else happens in this episode? Not only do we get... So that's like the main line stuff. That's like the big thing, uh -huh. right? Her it, best friend enters the pageant I was going to well. say, if we can go off on a few side people, right? I yeah. wanted to hear her sing, too. I know. We never I get to hear like her sing. I feel like she might be really good. I, so like... 
they're using Nani in like a good, uh, you know, like a good way. It's like effective for me, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, and I love later, uh, you know, Patty's like, "How could you?" And she's like, "She manipulated me." She just like says it or something like that. Yeah. But then you think back to the car where she's like, "I know you like to sing. Well, you never had a mom. Well, Patty would probably think you're, you know, you're pretty hot. You could be really hot. Like she's doing she all did these things." Her, yeah. Well, yeah, but that's the whole thing. She like hit her up on all these points because she knows, "Well, you have a crush on my daughter, obviously, you stupid bitch." And I'm gonna get you. <laughs> You obviously, know, obviously. You more, like. no, like, 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 and 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 she, you know, her mom is such a hot mess that that she's not as effective at it as these as the, these other characters. But she was doing the same yeah. thing in her own way to try to get in and, a you very know. blunt, direct version of it. Yes, but, but to a very insecure person, so it does work. Yeah, who like totally clocks it, reads it, says, "Oh, mentioning my dead mom, great," but ends up right there at the pageant with yeah. her hair up and is gonna do the thing, and she is crushed. You can tell when like uh, w w when the mom. Drunk, drunk and yeah. the whole thing, and you see Bob just looking at her. I like, thought oh. Bob was gonna have some yeah. answer for her. Like, I thought so too. Like, ah, we'll sit her on this table yes. and lie like she's dead, and you'll sing to her or something. Yep, I I literally thought that too. And then his narration comes in, which is like, well, pageantry's uh, you know cutthroat business. And I was like, oh no, there's he's just gonna keep looking at her. This is just it. Oh no, right? It wasn't like they had a chance of winning because they no. wouldn't have nailed any of the other parts. He so, he couldn't he couldn't uh, you know take yeah. the chance or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit of like every character is an ugly monster even Bob is like well I could let her have a moment run around like a little bit she's not going to win though because you know what about the next event she's going to be vomiting or like passed out or something yeah. so we're good no he has to be like so sorry hun and just Felt like goes away big on so Nani's in, the, in this horrible position Nani is, is going to be the barb <laughs> of 2009 ah justice for Nani yeah <laughs> hashtag <laughs> perfect um, give them their own show together yeah right Oh no! <laughs> the other girls. A flashback or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I really wonder. What, you know what they're gonna do with the character? They call out um, that she's now like he's like, you think we're friends? Oh my god, I've never had a friend who's a girl. Or yeah, that whole thing. Yeah. For a moment, you think he's gonna shoot her down. Like we're yeah. not friends. Blah, blah blah blah. I thought he might be. Oh, friends. I thought you know. I thought we had something going here or something like that. Or whatever. But it's literally just like, wow, we're friends. I'm no, this, he's, I'm, he is a uh, lovable character. I'm this awkward as fuck, dude. I was just, I was just a background character. Now I'm like in, I was the, in, the, in the just show. a few episodes ago, I was a guy masturbating in <laughs> a car, and here <laughs> I, I am with friends. Yeah, that so that that's a good point, right? It kind of like sets the bar. Like everyone's doing all these horrible things, mm -hmm. including the even the like good mundane characters, right? Yeah. I wonder what horrible thing Nani will do soon <laughs> to round out everything, right? Because she hasn't really, or has she? Am I not thinking of a uh, thing? If Mm. <laughs> I haven't gonna... seen what. Well, she <laughs> did travel across the country to try to, you know, yeah. fuck them over. Uh. And uh, didn't she pull out the gun? And, she and, wanted uh, to save them. No, that was the Asian chick. Oh, did she do it? Dixie. Oh, oh, you're right. You're I know right. her name now. Dixie. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah, say, yeah. I, have to, I have to learn names of people. Yeah, no, Dixie was like, I tried. I drove all the way across the thing with a gun, did this and that. It didn't uh. work, though. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. they they have a great dynamic, Regina and Dixie, and all that stuff. I I think um, some of their shit is hilarious. It's, it's gotten how better. they she spelled this like like well one of them who, who, who writes whore, yeah. the one who can't spell whore, or whatever she says. Yeah, what is he? I I know he says idiot daughter, but he says like evil mother and idiot daughter or something like that. Uh -huh. Who can spell and 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 one that can't or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and the way they take it back, which I'm like, I guess that's a thing. That's solving a problem, right? That's what sure. Bob. Bob's the fixer. He's a fixer. Bob's the Harvey Keitel of the insatiable universe. He comes uh, in of and starts the beauty giving queen the, world uh, of the beauty pageant area. Exactly. Yeah. Does anything else happen in this episode? Hell yes, it does. What do we got? And I'm looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how she like just to go back to the Winnie Taco. Oh, I'm really in the mood for the Winnie Taco. My mom works there. Oh, good. I could meet her too. Yeah. And that just goes south. And the fact that they live next door to each other, and they're like, like, oh no, I know her. Her last name's she, this. She knows her real last name, yeah. and she totally hits her in with the thing. Yeah, there's probably gonna be more there, revealing things and this and that about uh, her background. The idea that like that's so so bad. I don't understand why you can't escape your past and why that even matters. It's weird, right? I don't know why so few of them have a past like that. In that area, I guess it's just how it works out, or something like that. Well, yeah, the, the high she blood society wormed her way into like high society or yeah. whatever. Um, okay, last thing is I like we get more um, development about uh, Hot Bob's f and his family and all that stuff. Yeah, and how and life isn't perfect for him. And that's but that's sh so like you know 
when he says it at first, he says like, well, once Ed May's back in town, it's like I don't even exist. So yeah, Bob, I do know where. You're like, okay, I don't know where this is going. And then it just keeps getting more developed. Yeah. The daughter's like, wait, you miss work? Like, what are you talking about? You've been trying to say like, oh, I have to, no, sorry, that sorry. develops almost in a totally yeah. different direction. So you realize that Bob is, is very controlling and trying to have this perfect life, but yeah. realizes he's playing second fiddle to his wife. And you realize that his wife doesn't even necessarily care about her family, well, uh, and, and yeah. that's bad too. So now you have, what? which person does the daughter even lean to? Because she did bond with the mother. That was the person that was in her corner, but the mom just kind of said, I like to be at work when I'm home. I, I think about work. And the dad, yeah. the dad, while he cares, is too overbearing. So you're going to end up some, with some weird rebel shit between the daughter and maybe the, maybe the boyfriend now. Yeah, so she may enter... Who is she going to be on the rocks with soon when she finds out that he's been... <laughs> Uh, yeah, diddling the, the the mother of the idiot. So you know th- they have a loose thread there where like Bob, I think did Bob offer to coach her? What did he say? Cause she was like, I-, I would love to get back at my dad, right? And we were like, Wow, what's going on over there? And that and that kind of got left until now. Uh-huh. Right? So something's gonna happen with her, I'm sure. But I uh, I really love that because it's like, oh, things aren't so perfect, but it's actually like they get like down with it they get like dirty with it yeah. she's like literally like oh shit and he's like why don't you pick up the phone there fine just you know hey or the whole thing or whatever and she apparently has to like travel and do like major stuff it isn't just like she's on call to save yeah, lives yeah she's like a heart surgeon or something for yeah. around the world okay yeah, she's yeah, a cardiac yeah. specialist alright I didn't I didn't catch the actual title because she said I did, I'm making that up I don't okay. know I don't know if she's a heart doctor but I, that's my, my so guess like, heart brain something where there's not a lot yeah. of them and you go places it's a well it's a it's a it's a tough thing because if she's running around the you know the country or like the world to save lives, it's hard to be like, what the fuck? Spend more time hanging out with me or whatever, yeah. right? But the way that she phrased it, it like it was the she, exact phrasing that's the she, problem, not that what she's doing. Well, and she said like, okay, I'll I'll be there by Friday or I'll be there by tomorrow or something like that. So part of me was like, is she even the one saving all the lives or is she doing something else or like what is she? What exactly is you know is her role or whatever? I believe she is indeed yeah. the one saving the lives. Uh, to me, it just took like, okay, maybe she's flying somewhere that's super far. Like, oh, yeah. I gotta go to Hawaii or something. Yeah, I don't know. I hope we find out more to make that even like a little more complicated because it wasn't just an, an an unfortunate choice of words. Like my mm-hmm. career is a, and you know an an important thing to me, but um, she must have established something with the daughter that like, oh no no, you always come first, honey, of course or whatever. And then she was like, eh, like fifty fifty, <laughs> and the daughter was like, what the fuck? We you know you just blew up my spot with you know with dad, and now we're all awkward, and now you're over here like, hey. You know, six oh one. Yeah, it's a weird thing to say. Is when I'm home, I want to be at work. Yeah, you miss work? What? Yeah. Well, she tried to frame it up like, hey, you know what? When I'm here, I miss there. When I'm there, I miss here. I can't win. And then she's like, wow, you really can't have it all, can you? Like she was like, bam, yeah. or whatever. So like, we get like the trailer park trash family fighting over their thing, and we get the super high up, right? It's very on the nose, but uh, yeah, because they get so gritty with it, I go like, yes, awesome. So when the when the when when the dirty stuff happens, hey, they're I'm down all the laundry. Well, ah. It should get pretty interesting. The next episode, we've got a lot of things to roll into. I wonder Carly how Carly knows she's got the necklace. But that Fuck. necklace is that even a definitive proof thing? It says it says like I love you forever, Bob. Or something. <laughs> right. Um, could he not give that to someone he admires? Could he not <laughs> like pass that off as something else? Yeah. Um, is there any proof he even made it? There's the, many Bobs. So the show wants There's us. There's two Bob main characters. The, I wonder if if there being multiple Bobs will, 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 will you know will ever come into play at, you know at some point. I don't think now, mm-hmm. but uh, no, like I don't know. And 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 this show could do anything it wants. I think as an audience, we are at the very least supposed to during this break between episodes believe that the jig is up and she's gonna do some stuff or whatever. Um, I don't know because there's not even like well I guess the, the social because there has to be like an angle where where she's like we can't get divorced. I just got in with the socialite people. Yeah, right? yeah. It has to be something like that. Well, going and on. how many years ago? Like, yeah. And also, this threw off my timeline with things because yeah. I thought, and maybe I just I, I took it wrong. I thought that Bob stole his wife away from her as a as a as a as a potential uh, client, and uh, then ran off with her, and they got married and into a relationship or whatever. The idea that he he met her before he even met. Was it Coraline or whatever? Cor- Coralie, Coraline, Coralie. Coraline. Before he even met her, while he was still in high school, before he was even into coaching, I thought directly contradicts something they'd said earlier. Ah. I thought he met her through pageantry. 
she 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 did pageantry, I know. But didn't didn't it say like, oh, he saw more than me. He said I was a blah blah and took me this and that, and then we fell in love. Like, because there was something about it's like on the day before I took the bar, I could have done this or I could have done that, and she, uh, and like my wife made me do this, right? It 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 was before we developed her character, mm -hmm. so you thought she was just power hungry snob who like said, no, you can't do fucking trashy beauty pageants. You gotta be a lawyer, right? You thought it was just that, yeah. Right? So it happened somewhere in, you know, in there. Yeah, he was on a business trip, and then he fell into the pageantry. So he was already along the way. I don't have an answer for you that's satisfactory. Yeah, nothing. But I think it's okay. No, again, I'm fine. I think it has the show to be. Is, is fun enough. I, there's enough yeah. moments. No, and like again, like there's a certain point where they're taking some shortcuts. They, they just have Patty on the nose say, and as you know, that happened while the two of you were already married. Here you go. And all that stuff, and and yeah, yeah. and like shits on her, and also fills in all this for us. So, as an audience member, I I I I'm forced to believe that Coralie now thinks that Bob was cheating on her, and, and everything's obvious or whatever, right? It would be uh, neat to have a curveball and and have Bob explain it or something else happen or whatever. I right? thought there was an ironic thing though, where Coralie's like, "I'm gonna steal your protege like you stole mine." I, th I thought something like mm. that was established, but it doesn't. That doesn't make any sense at all. So it can't have been that. Uh, something. <laughs> right? I have no idea. I don't know. We'll see wh how the picture well, gets painted. It's still, the yeah, still, episodes. Stella Rose with her ringer is going to come back, right? Patty qualified for this big ass tourney, you know, this big ass pageant now, right? I think we already established. I said Carly before when I meant to say Stella um, Rose. I've been papering over it. Yeah. That's why I, I, one of the first words I said was her name, so that the audience would know yeah. what we were talking about. Let's just not call attention to it. It'll be fine. Um, we know that some of the other people that we've already known and and loved already qualified for this big pageant, right? Yes. They've been peppering that in so that we know that it's all going to come to this like fucking yeah. They'll like, be thing. in the same place yeah. again. I'm only sad that the, the that the competitive topiary was wasted here because that's that's in the trailer and there's something so beautiful about like orange extension cords and like <laughs> and like goggles. What is some lady in the, in the What does she say? Is that is a lady that, biscuit? Is that a lady biscuit? It's, it's a Georgia, Georgia Peach, Peach. y'all. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But that whole thing's in the trailer and something about like high heels and evening wear and like the protective eyewear and everything together uh -huh. was this image of this amazingly trashy juxtaposition, right? Yeah. And, and it had to happen here because they made Coralie the topiary queen or whatever. Uh -huh. But it's still, you know, there we go, right? So I don't know what the major talent's going to be once we really get there. Cause, She's gonna uh, eat things. Oh, Nani's gonna sing backstage, and then Patty's gonna lip sync it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Predictions <laughs> like that, are like that's retarded. What? I'm like, yep, nailed it. End uh, of the episode. <laughs> All right, guys, that's everything that happened this episode. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Imagine if that happens. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Hello, internets. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. Ah. Peace out, homies.